video. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're not in a blizzard, but um, but it is the coldest day. Actually, it's not the coldest day. Um, because it was 17 degrees just a few wee days ago. Um, and basically, guys, it is um in Celsius. We are looking at minus four. Well, it's been hovering between minus four and minus seven. Um, between minus four and minus seven uh, during the night. I think it's gonna be pretty stable. Um, the highest it's gonna get today is minus four. But we are pedaling. Um, as you guys can see, those great American flags are swinging from the west and uh, well, which means we have got us our, ourselves a nice westerly wind so how are you um so basically coming home is going to be a bit of a challenge but at least at the moment we are um are looking at a very smooth cruise um where we need to be we got an, uh, another secret mission. Uh, I haven't got the Secret Service bicycle today. Uh, I do have my Speedster because we need to be stealth and stealth and productive. All right, today. Uh, we got all our high visibility clothing on, guys. So, uh, ladies, gents, boys, and girls, uh, make sure you never forget your super high visibility, visibility, visibility. Because that's the only way to stay safe on the road. You know, minimize the risk. And, uh, yeah, so we've got about a 40 minute cycle ahead of us. Primarily, heading west you guys know the you guys pretty much know um you guys pretty much know the the way but I have found Um, I have found a couple of alternative routes. Um, just because now, you know, with the winter coming, a lot of the very poor, um, well, I want to say that a lot of the semi-poor uh roads um you know with all the contraction of the winter there is a tendency of these roads developing um basically developing sort of craters if you will see like right there you know, in the summer, when it's all expanded with, because of all the, the heat and the moisture, humidity, um, they're not as bad. So basically, I guess uh, if I was to offer you guys some tips for cycling over the winter, um, you'd 
probably want to um you would probably want to sort of uh, first and foremost winterize your bike but then also you know go on to your favorite map um map engine whether it's maps me uh google map class or google maps um your favorite navigation tool and i would say And I would say, make sure you restudy your, your roads a little bit. That way, that way you guys can minimize the, uh, you know, the damage you're doing to your bicycle. Uh, I did get a, uh, I did get the, I did get a flat on the old baby Dutch on my folding bicycle a couple of well probably a good month and a half ago um, but luckily, it was not a, uh, it was not a flat, uh, sort of, you know, on the road flat. Basically, I pedaled up to work, and, you know, I, I come out, like, after work, and I found that I got a flat. So, it must have been a very 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 minuscule which is very, probably very minuscule and the air just kind of released but then you know when I got home I had to I had to take an Uber that day when I got home, you know, I put the compressor to it, and, you know, like, I put the air in, and literally within like, within like two, three seconds, it was gone, you know, so I'm like, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, doing, playing a little detective work, um, you know, because that's what I do for fun. Let's see if she sees me. She did see me. Great. She came up awfully fast onto that stop sign. Yeah, guys, you gotta, that's the biggest risk to cycling, you know, on the road is that whenever you see, whenever you have the situation, um, 